OG Person, did he ever? I mean, y'all took that picture together and everything was cool, right? Yeah. Y'all, you seen him after and that? And then he got on that Facebook or Instagram Alive or something and he was saying, oh, yeah, I didn't know and I didn't. He didn't know? He lied. Tony Weirs ain't no fucking crib, nigga. I, he said he was a crib. I had to do my homework. Y'all know I can't come to court until I got evidence. And yeah, because I hear something like um, Supreme tricked him into <laughs> oh, um, taking oh, a picture oh, with you. That's what I heard. Not. He told Tell me how the pictures even took place because it was like he got slicked into that situation. No. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. Now that you say that, you was on that out the bar, after the bar, over the bar, <laughs> yeah. and around the damn bar. <laughs> you was around a bar. Yeah. And, and, and I had hand paint on my show, and I didn't get to ask him about it, but there was a lot of people talking about this segment yeah. where you was going wild on at, at, at this bar. And he was standing behind you, and he was rapping. He was, I don't know what was going on, but it was real different for him. I forgot my lyrics, my wig came out. Oh, uh, dang, man. <laughs> so what, what was that like? Did it even come out yet? I seen it yeah, on yeah. your page. I see you posted it early, didn't you? Yeah. Well, um, how was that? Okay, so we got there. I On the way there, we stopped at the liquor store. I drank a little bit on the way What there. you drink? Patron. You like that Patron? I do. It's so clear. When, when you drink it, what'd you do? You went over there, you said, I'm going to turn this so thing out. We, we, I was drinking it on the way there. Then I drunk some on the way to the door to go inside the club to behind the bar. Then I drunk some liquor there at the bar, mm. in front of the bar. Then I had I reached behind the bar, grabbed some more liquor, and started drinking some more liquor. Mm. Then I had my homegirl go to the store, I mean, go back to the car and bring the bottle in the bar and drunk some more liquor. Damn. So I completely just forgot my lyrics. I was sloppy. I was all over the place. My eyes was so damn wide. I looked like I was doing more than drinking liquor. Like I just, I won't never do that again. That was so unprofessional. So I got to apologize to all the people that was watching. <laughs> Well, I, lesson you, learned. Lesson yes. learned. I, I mean, you listen to everybody in the industry. Don't over drink. Don't over drink it. That is never. I know that the drinking is what helps us get a little bit more excited and get in the mode. But when you overdo it, no, it, too much of anything is good. You just need a little bit. Are oh, you gonna go back and do it again? Or, or you, mm -mm. you ain't messing with the bar no more? <laughs> like, wow. like, there were so many big people in there watching me. Solo Lucci was in there, the yellow beezy, Mike Fresh, the nigga that did the stanky leg. Everybody was <laughs> So you felt embarrassed. <laughs> Everybody was in there looking at me. So I was nervous and I was drunk and I just forgot my lyrics. Three things. And my wig came out. <laughs> Shit. I look, was looking like Day Day off of Players Club. What, what's, what, whatever movie that was, he play on. So you got to go redeem yourself. I might. I got to come out with a hit, another hit song. You know, my song came out, Fuck a Nigga. And then I got the A Bitch Could Never song. But I need another song. Like, remember I told you, I got another little Crip song I'm finna come out with. Damn it. You know, I see, uh, you know, you, you very, uh, they picking you up everywhere. Vlad TV. You, he was on there today or yesterday. I seen that and popped that thing back up that picture. You, Crib Mac, and the Brick Baby. Mm -hmm. Now, you just was on there the other time with OG Percy. Mm -hmm. This man has millions of subscribers. Millions of people are seeing you. Uh, I mean, he's putting you up there. He's, he's showing you love, trying to say, hey, man, you know, he done posted Boss Talk before. Big yeah. up. But at the end uh, of the day, Perky, I mean, OG Percy. Person, yeah, no, but I'm talking about I'm talking about Vlad. <laughs> Vlad, oh, Vlad posts. You know, he he have you on his story on the news line. Somebody over there posting the hell out of your picture yeah. <laughs> and, and and really putting it out there, which is a blessing. But they if, will not let me come over there. Well, they probably in due time. In due time, everybody you gotta be, keep working. Yeah, yeah, he, he watching. No. In a minute, they ain't gonna be able to deny you the way you acting out here. Cause you next, I don't know who who you gonna be with next. Who they gonna see you with? Cause OG Percy, did he ever, I mean, y'all took that picture together and everything was cool, right? Yeah. You seen him after and that? And then he got on that Facebook or Instagram Alive or something and he was saying, oh yeah, I didn't know and I didn't. He didn't know? He lied. Tony Weirs ain't no fucking crib, nigga. I, he said he was a crib. I had to do my homework. Y'all know I can't come to court until I got evidence. And yeah, because I hear something like um, Supreme tricked him into <laughs> oh, um, taking oh, a picture oh, with you. That's what I had. not. 
that he told Tell me how the pictures even took place because it was like he got slicked into that situation. No, hold, absolutely hold on, Tony, not. hold on. You, you said what now? It was like he got <laughs> slicked into that situation. Oh, so you, you, you think a nigga can slick Percy? Well, I don't think so. I know G Percy, you know, he come over here, you oh, know. Okay. Uh, so I just want to ask you how it happened. <laughs> that way I can get it all the way out there. Um, uh, so I had did the interview with the Bob report in real tune first before I did anything else. Right. And I did the gay crip stuff. Now, mind y'all, I told y'all last time that this is not the first time that I came out as an openly gay crip. I did this three years ago with Half Pint Films when he shot my I Guess She Mad video and everybody had them blue bandanas around our head. Right. You were cripping back then. Yes. So you been, you were born into this, yes. really? Yes, I told you my granny was a crip, my great granny was a crip, all of us was crips. <laughs> everybody <laughs> crip. So. But it's different when you do an interview compared to just put out a a yeah. video. I know, but when I came <laughs> open with it to the world, that's when everything took off. Right. But mind you, I've been doing this for a long time ago. This is not something I just woke up and decided to do. So, um, Half Pint Film released that, and then I came up with a new song and put the little Crip stuff in there. OG Percy did a follow-up interview after he saw that I was a gay Crip, talking about it, saying good stuff. Remember I told y'all yeah. he said it was okay. Then, um, Supreme has said, "Hey, I'm I'm over here uh, doing the." Uh, that was after you had been on here. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, that was after. I think so. It was right after because I was oh, like, okay. "Damn, I didn't because I didn't ask you about it, but I flipped it in the scenario because I seen it happen." Oh, okay, yeah. well, yeah, it happened right after this. Probably like the next day. Probably or the so. next day, or so. I'm like, the nigga done went over there and got with a yeah. Well, what happened was is because I, when me and you talked about it on the show, it was because he had spoke about it on a video. Mm -hmm. That's why I brought it up on the show. Mm -hmm. It, I, but then after that, y'all went on solidified and took the pictures. Mm -hmm. You had the blue bandana, I mean the blue do rag. Oh on. yeah, I did tell you this. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm telling well, you what yes. happened. Yes, okay. Thank God, so everybody can see that. All five <laughs> of these cameras saw that. So the thing about it is, he knew I was gay. He knew I was a crip before I even came and met with him. Mm -hmm. So Supreme said, "Hey, you know I'm over here at, at uh, OG house," and I was like, "You oh, trying to talk like me?" Uh, 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 yeah, <laughs> that, that's how he said it. Verbatim, that's how he said it. The tone and everything. So I was like, send the, I was like, ask uh, OG, uh, can I pull up? And I heard him in the background. He was like, yeah, or, or whatever. He said, how did he talk? You know, he sound, you know, crazy. So <laughs> I got in my car, drove over there. I thought I was going to the south side. We didn't even go to the south side. We went to the east side. So we pull up over there. I get out. He was happy to meet me and stuff. Like I said, he shook my hand, gripped it, you know, oh. like the firm grip man. Y'all didn't see lock or nothing? Oh, yeah, we did that first. Yeah, y'all, how you? I, okay, so I only know how to do the first part. The okay. First, you do like that. Yeah, this. yeah. So, so when you tell me, because I don't know you, how to do you, it. You do it like this. That, okay. Then you come right here. Okay. Because I don't know how to do that, it. But you came in like that, hardcore, yeah. with the crypt side. But you didn't finish it. I didn't, I just, I just, we do the hug. You know, you go in for the, <laughs> you know, the, you, the, 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 the So hug, you hug, the, you kind of came at him with yeah. the hug. And yeah. then once you hugged at him, you did, you did, y'all did the signs. And, yeah. the, you know, it's it's a lot. And man. then he, yeah. he shook my hands, did the, because, you know, I don't like doing that. They be saying you're supposed to grip a man's yeah. hand when you shake it, but I don't and like And look doing, him in the eyes. I know, I don't like doing all that. I'm how do you do <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get somewhere else. So how did you when you when you shook his hand? You just kind of you throwed your hand out there like that. Just a regular, cause like most men, like you know, if I'm giving them a handshake, or most boys, or whatever the case may be, they just gonna go on and get the little little respectful handshake out the way. But him, nah, he finna he old school. Go, go <laughs> damn, try to break your hand. Damn. So he did that, and uh, we took our pictures and stuff, and he was it didn't feel no type of way about it. But cool. I don't know why, you know. People don't need to judge OG person because he, he he being respectful. He doing what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to judge nobody. Don't come in this thing faking it, acting like you just so homophobic because the statistics say you're not supposed to do this or whatever the case may be. Most of y'all motherfuckers don't even read the Bible. So, <laughs> not y'all. Y'all read the Bible. <laughs> but I'm talking about all these people that in the comments and stuff. Y'all don't even read the Bible. So y'all up here trying to judge somebody. Let judgment day come first. You know, so they did. I don't like that when they do that. He didn't judge me. And I don't feel like nobody else in the comments should neither. Mm. But you know, them comments going to do what they're going to do. You can't yeah. control them comments. That's why, he, that's why he said I tricked him. Because he was in them comments. Them comments got it. Yeah. Yeah, the comments. He, or maybe he got a call. He you can't never get know. no calls. Do you know how many rainbow 
rainbows I done been called and rainbow lokes and rainbow cuz and, and cr- gay cripping and all this a twitch creeping and all that shit I've been called a lot of different things you didn't I, that didn't stop me from being who I am I still remain the same person I didn't change up you didn't switch up yeah but Paul Paul dimension and kicked in and forgot that I was a crip before he met me Tony Weirich ain't no fucking crip nigga I, he said he was a crip I had to do my homework y'all know I can't come to court until I got evidence so <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.